Hey guys, I'm back and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek at some of the stuff that is coming in the next update for Realm of Thrones, a mod, a Game of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, some things that I already got, we're going to start with a, pretty much a full set of Riverlands armor that I had commissioned by a, a very talented modeler and texture. Uh, so we're going to start out, I mean, we have, you know, we have for Riverlands, they're going to be wearing this Kind of riverlands coif and then we have just a basic riverlands armor right here check it out and then just a pair of riverlands boots which i think which i think are pretty cool so there you go this is your basic riverlands soldier and there'll be three choices of so of, of shoulder armor for it the first one is just a basic riverlands shoulder armor with you know nice looking scales on there we have another version it's got like an open face which i which i'm currently going to use for my fray troops and the last option would be a tully shoulder right here it's got the nice tully sigil right here so this would be your basic one your uh, uh this guy right here decked out here would be one of your uh, elite troops uh for the riverlands and then i think i did my regular troops without the sigil like this so uh the next armors we'll look at is uh, there's actually another version of this armor right here which is the riverlands noble armor, which is pretty much the exact same except it has the actual little neck collar to it so that's that i'll have that on the uh i'm gonna work on the clip in a little right bit right here in the neck area that's gonna be your riverlands noble armor that, uh, that uh, Edmure Tully will be wearing and some of the other nobles and then I took this armor and I actually edited the texture I actually you know contacted the modeler and asked for his substance pa uh, painter project so I could edit the texture and make it a little darker to make a blackfish version so this is kind of a work in progress this isn't set in stone but I've kind of made it darker I actually think I may work on it a little bit more, but I made this armor darker. So there is your Blackfish scale uh, noble armor. And there's also the Blackfish shoulders. You can't see it real good in this light, but it's pretty much the same armor, just very darker. So there you go. These are This is the brand new set of Riverlands armor that was commissioned to put into Realm of Thrones that will be in the next update. And uh, we'll go back out and I'm going to show you some of the things that are in the works right now. Okay, the set of armor that I'm working on that I'm really excited about now that I, I'm that's being commissioned right now is the Dragonstone armor set. I mean, I've been dying to get a good version of Stannis Baratheon's armor. We're going to be getting Stannis Baratheon's armor, his cloak, which isn't in this picture, and pretty much this full armor set, plus... We're going to be getting this Dragonstone armor right here. That this guy's uh, wearing with the plate in the front and the little cloak on the top. And also a brand new version of this helmet. We already have a similar helmet uh, made by the Lone Warrior the, uh, you know, from the Lone Knight mod that he donated to the mod in here. But I'm actually getting uh, another version, which I think looks really good. And they actually have this helmet's actually done. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a picture sent straight from the modeler but there's going to be brand new custom official game of thrones dragonstone stuff coming very soon as soon as it's made put into the mod for the next update another one that i'm extremely the net after the dragonstone stuff's done he's going to immediately start working on mace tyrell's noble reach armor I'm, we're going to have this helmet we're going to have this whole armor set uh in the mod he's very ornate uh, very you know uh, very out there so we're gonna have us a nice noble set of reach plate armor ornate plate armor that's gonna be worked on next and the last set of armor that we're gonna have uh, put in the mod uh, the, to be commissioned uh, along with the other reach noble armor is this reach soldiers armor he's gonna do a whole set you know this this complete uh, armor set right here is gonna get done a brand new reach helmet is going to be worked on next i showed you all this stuff to let you know that uh you know all this stuff is getting paid for by me out of my own pocket 
and uh, I don't know how much more money I'm going to be able to dump into this mod. So I have started me a Patreon page. Uh, you could, you know, donate as minimum, uh, as low as $1 a month to help pay for models to be put in this mod. Uh, up to, you know, whatever, whatever you feel like donate. And I really appreciate your support. Uh, anything would help and it would go directly into purchasing, commissioning armors, official Game of Thrones stuff to be put into the mod, official scenes to be made like Winterfell, Marine, King's Landing, Castle Black. I mean, this is a huge, epically huge project that I've taken on pretty much by myself. So uh, if we can get these things uh, done, instead of waiting on me to figure it all out and do them all myself to get some other guys on board, uh, professional singers and, and modelers on board uh, building this stuff uh, it will it will definitely you know push development you know that much faster you know to get you guys to play so uh, I'm gonna put a link below in the description if you if you can help out I would really re appreciate it and uh, say I decide to just say screw it. I'm through with Realm of Thrones. I don't feel like I'm putting these thousands upon thousands of hours into this mod anymore. I will still, I, I promise you guys, I will still make a, a, a Realm of Thrones armory mod. So any money that you guys uh, donate to be to, to put armors in the mod, I will you know keep a, a armory mod up to date. That'd be very easy to do for you guys to uh, pretty much be able to use these armors. As long as you want to, even if I decide to completely quit this thing, which I don't intend on doing, but you know, there's always <laughs> there's always a chance. <laughs> so uh, uh, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as soon as I get these armors done and put into mod, I'm also working to get rid of some of the overwrite native files. I mean, I'm working really hard on that. I stayed up to 3 a.m. last night, working really hard to get rid of some of these having to overwrite some of these files and trying to make this mod completely non-invasive is my goal so all you gotta do is click them boxes hit start and and, and do your thing and then when you want to uninstall it you ain't got to uninstall it you can just unclick the boxes that's my goal that's my plan i'm working on that like i was saying on my discord i may not have the biggest mod out there but it's going to be the best coded and it's going to be the most balanced mod out there i'm because uh, I, I love to play this game uh, I'm not trying to blow nobody away with, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff. I just want to have a game that's fun to play, balanced, and makes sense. So that's what I'm shooting for. Thank you guys for watching this, and I'll, I'll catch y'all later.